and Navy. Yep. I'll tell you what, I'll have something to say about that. <laughs> Sweetheart, he's 11. I'm sure you'll wear him down soon enough. <laughs> Glenn. Yeah? Your phone's ringing. That's not mine. Take George. Get to the car now. What? Now! Oh, right. I could have sworn it was in here somewhere. Unless maybe I put it in my other purse. Is everything okay, Mrs. Talbot? Well, obviously not. I can't find my ID anywhere. It's not that, ma'am. Sounds like you have a cold. Can't seem to shake the damn thing. Probably got it from my son, that little germ factory. How about I just call the general? Get this all straightened out. It's security. Your wife left her ID at home again. All right. Send her up. Yes, ma'am. Sorry about the wait, Mrs. Talbot. You're all set. I hope you feel better. Thank you. Hey, honey. You get lost on the way to my office? No, I'm not lost. I'm just stuck in some traffic. Wait, you're telling me you're still in the car? Yes. I swear, this construction on 5th has been going on forever. Then who the hell was that masquerading as my wife? Uh, sir? Hi, honey. We stopped right there! Look, the, the guard wasn't at the front, so I just walked in. Get down! Glenn, you're scaring me. Now! Okay. Put your face on the carpet! Okay! God, what is wrong with you? God, I, I even brought those little pork taquitos that you like so much. Carla? Don't leave like this, Carla. It's not my fault. I just couldn't say no to the president. Yes, you could have. You just didn't want to. You're always choosing career over family, Glenn. That's not true. And now we're finally paying the price. I'm gonna fix this, Carla. I don't understand. He was getting better, and now you want to transfer him somewhere more comprehensive. But he's getting better. He's calm. The damage to his frontal lobe is severe. It's going to take a lot more time to retrain his brain to control his impulses and think clearly. No! No! That's not a cat! Glenn, honey. Well, that's not honey, a cat! Honey, everything is OK. George is just trying to help. No, he showed me this. This, this, this is a tiger. I said it was a cat, and he said it was right. <sighs> What's the matter? Cat got your tongues? I'm just surprised. With everything going on in the world, I, d I didn't know. You look, um... Like a million bucks. You're OK? Yeah. Why are you dressed so funny? That's just a taste. I can move buildings, cars. You want to know something else? I can even fly. Can I fly with you? George? Honey, why don't you go up to your room and play so your father and I can talk? Not now, Carla. We're having fun. Glenn? Please. We need to talk. I heard about the accident. What the hell are you talking about? Shield called. Look what you made me do. I'm really sorry, Glenn. They're just worried about you, that's all. And so am I. George, please, honey, go upstairs. Ah! I'm sorry, George. Put her down, Dad. I can't do that, son. She's not on our side anymore. That's not true. I love you. I would do anything for you. Oh, really, Carla? Like when you helped Hydra brainwash me or when you worked with S.H.I.E.L.D. to conspire behind my back? That's not true. Your compliance will be rewarded. Any of that ring a bell? Do you remember that? Do you? They said it would help. I'm sorry, Carla. But the only way I'll ever trust you again is if you join me. 